Hey everybody, uh, Tyler Cruz here from TylerCruz.com. Um, ever since I I've been posting my my recent posts on my new personal affiliate marketing records, uh, such as this one made uh, a couple days ago, um, where I generated uh, just shy of six thousand um, dollars in during the day, and which ended up with a net profit of um, twenty eight hundred dollars. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments and emails from people asking how they can get started um, in affiliate marketing and how it works and and um, and what it's all about. So this video is going to act as a introduction and overview. Excuse me, uh, meant and targeted to absolute beginners and people that aren't already familiar with how affiliate marketing works. This is actually my uh, second time recording this video, which is uh, I'm <laughs> actually very tired now, and my throat is getting really sore um, from from all the talking, um, because it's it's actually really difficult to make this video because there's there's so much to talk about, and even just to give an overview, it's 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 kind of difficult to organize it all properly, um, okay, so I, I'm. Bear with me here. It's uh, if it sounds really frazzled and you get a little bit confused. Well, I apologize for that. It's it's just yeah. It's kind of difficult to to kind of go through everything properly here. Um, because I it's difficult because I don't. I just assume everybody knows everything. Like I, I just assume everybody already knows all the little things, and I'm not sure what I'm leaving out or not. So, anyways, here we go. So affiliate marketing, in a nutshell, is you're basically um, buying paid traffic and you are sending it to affiliate offers which pay you um, when somebody performs an action such as sending out their basic information so that a, a company can follow up uh, which and that's basically basically called lead generation um, or somebody like purchasing an item and you you getting paid for sending in that customer so that's the gist of it um, there's other there's other elements of it so like you don't have to do paid traffic you can do free traffic so, and do SEO uh, or or try to find other free sources out there such as um, I don't know posting on Craigslist for example but that's not my area um, I'm I, I only do paid traffic so that's what this video is going to focus on okay so the very first step is you're going to need to sign up to an affiliate network now there's a lot of affiliate networks out there um, there's there's hundreds out there actually um, but really in the beginning you don't need to sign up to all of them right you only need to sign up to one really and um, because they uh, affiliate networks all carry the same type of offers you know pretty much and a lot of them even broker the offers to each other um, so a lot of them really carry the same exact offers and really until you're more until you're actually um, making money or or at least uh, generating revenue you only need to sign up to one affiliate network in the beginning because otherwise it'll just kind of confuse you and and pull you off off track so which one should you use well, personally, uh, I have a few that I can recommend. Um, I think PureFly is really good for for people starting out, and um, just because it's, it's really simple to use their interface and everything, and they're very friendly to people getting started. Um, so yeah, I recommend PureFly, but there's yeah, there's there's a lot of others as well. But so first of all, you're going to need to sign up to PureFly so you just go to PureFly using I've got a link below this video it's my it's my uh, my, my referral link as uh, and so yeah so you basically just sign up and since there's a, a fair bit of fraud in the industry um, there's going to be a bit of a sign up and application process but that that's really just consists of basically they will phone you and just have like a mini interview with you they, and they just want to make sure that you're a real live person and that you're not out to defraud them or anything 
So just be honest with them. If they ask you, like, what's your experience and what are you pushing, just be honest. Just say you're brand new, you know, you don't know anything. Um, it would help if you actually say that you are getting started after watching the review from Tyler Cruz because um, it would help it would just help them know that you're most likely legitimate but yeah it'll just be a simple probably like a five minute talk um, a little bit longer if you wanted to ask them some questions and whatnot but yeah so there's gonna be a little bit of an application process and then that might take one to three days but then after that you'll be signed up and then you can log in so we're going to log into the system here to Peerfly. so the next step after your signed up to an, a network is you want to find an offer to promote um, so first of all you're going to it'll be easier if you just break it down by niche and so you, you, first of all you're going to want to pick out what niche or niche as Americans like to pronounce it um, and there's a lot of different different categories and niches you can you can choose from which one you choose is up to you whatever you're kind of interested in promoting I would just recommend that you avoid certain ones such as um, you probably want to avoid things like legal and and, um, and maybe maybe like credit reports and stuff and maybe even like loans because those those are kind of the more com well everything is competitive but those are more expensive to get into because they, they have higher payouts and therefore you're going to need a bigger budget and yeah so you want to kind of focus on uh, or avoid those other ones to get, uh, other categories to, that are good to get started on are things like dating or email submits or even gaming or as seen as seen on TV stuff. That those are usually pretty good to to get started in. So once you have your category picked out, you will want to pick out an actual offer, and each offer has a different payout, of course. Um, and the bigger the payout, doesn't mean that necessarily mean that you're just going to make more money right because often the bigger the payout the harder it is to convert a customer um, but let's just say we decided to do the as seen on TV category and within that one we decided to choose this offer called tag away which is like removing skin tags um, and we can see here that on the offer page that it pays out eight dollars and fifty cents and it pays out whenever somebody purchases um, the product um, and we can see that the allowed prom promotional methods are by uh, our banner although you are allowed to do some limited Facebook advertising and we can only do promote it in the US so once you have your offer um, you will be given an affiliate link and that link is what you need to send people so that when they click on it it can track and Purefly will be able to track when somebody purchases it so that you can get paid. So we can see here that this is the actual landing page of Tagaway of the offer and you can see that you're actually getting a decent payout because you're getting close to 50% payout um, since it only costs $19.99 plus shipping and handling to the customer. So you're actually getting close to 50% of what the customer is actually paying which is actually a pretty decent portion. So we can see that this is like a, a typical as seen on TV ad. Mover that naturally and painlessly eliminates pesky skin tags. Tagaway is a homeopathic topical remedy made from... So just like you see on, on TV. And yeah, so whenever a customer comes here using your affiliate link and they end up buying the product, you will get paid uh, eight fifty on this particular offer. And that's how it works. So as long as you end up spending less money than you are getting back, then you are going to profit and be happy. So we can see here that um, uh, the, g the, g the general network average earning per click is 64 cents on this offer, uh, which works out to an average conversion rate of uh, about 6.5%. So this, if you end up averaging 64 cents um, per click on this offer, um, whenever somebody, the, the average person that clicks on it, you will end up making 64 cents all you have to do essentially is make sure that you are spending less than 64 cents um, on the paid traffic you're sending out and then you are this is a winning campaign for you so let's say you end up spending an average of 50 cents um, to every person and and your 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 
EPC still averages out 64 cents. Well, you you're basically making a net profit of uh, 14 cents whenever for every click that you that you send. So that's that's kind of the whole idea of affiliate marketing. You're just wanting to to spend to pay less for the traffic that you are getting back in return. So let me just see. I've got a list of notes here of stuff I'm going to talk about. Okay, so there are different. So so now that you have your offer, you need to get traffic. And again, this this rev this review is. I mean, sorry, this um, video is focusing on paid traffic. And there are different uh, traffic um, sources out there and traffic networks that you can you can buy traffic from. For example, there is. Uh, PPV networks, which is basically like pop-up traffic or pop-under traffic. Um, so there's there's like direct CPV, which is a popular one, um, and there's other ones like Traffic Vance. There's also um, you can also advertise on Google AdWords, which is um, actually not really recommended right now because over the past few years they've really cracked down on on affiliate marketers, and they they kind of just ban a lot of affiliate marketers for no good reason. Um, I've been lucky because they've actually not banned me, and they actually I've had no problems getting most things approved there. But um, you might want to avoid that for uh, Facebook, uh, sorry, AdWords for that reason. An another really popular area is Facebook, because obviously for obvious reasons, it's just you know everybody uses Facebook. So yeah, Facebook is really popular, and I I would recommend using Facebook actually. Um, and just to give you an idea of how it works, if we just go here into Facebook, you've I'm sure you've noticed when you log into Facebook on the side, you have like a list of ads here. And we can see here that there are a number of affiliate ads here. You can see that there's a few gaming ones tar targeted to me. And um, there's also a dating ad here. Um, so for an, a dating offer. Um, so you can basically within Facebook advertising you can purchase these type of ads and have your own ad here so you add your own image and then you will have a little description and then it will link to basically what you will link it to is your let me get back here is your affiliate link from your offer so you will have your tag away offer you will basically pay to have it listed on Facebook here and then you will obviously want to target it. You don't want to just have it broad, broadly um, out there. You will want to have it targeted to the proper demographic. So you're going to want to do your own research on that. But likely, even without doing any type of research, you it'll probably be better to target this one to women aged, probably a little bit older, because I think older women have these little skin tags more often than younger women so maybe women aged like 35 and up and then you will probably want to even target it further beyond that such as women because what, what what's really good with Facebook is they have really really good targeting so you can really pinpoint your, your target market so in addition to the age group and gender you can also target it to women that uh, are into fashion or are um, maybe into beauty and makeup for example people that you, and then and then yeah beyond um let me just let me just think here okay so that's that's basically the traffic portion uh, it's uh, i'm it's very generalized and very um broadly um spoken about there but i will try to cover each of these elements a lot uh, more detailed in a more detailed manner later on in the future on in future blog posts but yeah so you, you've got your paid traffic and so you can either direct link which is kind of what we've been doing so far which is just taking your link straight out of the affiliate network in this case you would take it from here from Peerfly and you could just put it straight into Facebook or wherever it is you're advertising and that's called direct linking or you can actually make your own landing page um, which is like a second step in between so if you add if you link it to your own landing page which is basically a, a basic web page that you create 
which will then have your affiliate link on the landing page. Um, you can do that and there's the benefits to that are you can kind of pre-sell the offer um, which will often improve your conversion rate. So I'll give you an example of that. So instead of sending people straight to tag away, you can create a landing page and here's an example of a really bad one. <laughs> um, but it just gives you an example of what a landing page is. And so this is actually for different offer, right? So let's say instead of tag away, we had a weight loss product. You could then send people to your landing page and kind of pre-sell the offer. So let's say the landing page of, of tag away is, is not really good. Although in this case, it's pretty good. But let's say it's a little bit messy, like there's a lot of small text and and it doesn't really describe the benefits of, of the offer. Well, you could create your own landing page and kind of have bullet points on why tag away is good and and um, just, just the benefits of it, maybe some before and after photos. There's not really any before and after. Well, here's one before and after photo, but you might want to make them bigger and more prominent because they're kind of below the fold here. And and so yeah that that this is that's uh, basically using landing pages here's another example of a landing page this one's for a tax like a tax tax return software income tax return software um, so you you can uh, you can uh, make your own landing pages as well if you're when you're just starting out you might just want to do direct linking until you once you're until you're basically uh, familiar with the, you know how things work and then you might want to expand onto landing pages because they can really help your conversion rate. Um, yeah, so once you're buying traffic, you're, what you, the next step is to optimize and split test. And it's very difficult to do that without using any type of additional third-party software. And if you aren't tracking your stuff, you're kind of fighting an uphill battle. I don't know any successful affiliate marketer that is not tracking um, their 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 traffic. You basically, it's a must, and you need to track your your traffic uh, so that you know what type of traffic is converting and what type of traffic is not converting for you, so that you can you can uh, stop paying for the traffic that is not converting. Okay, so. There are different um, paid. There's different traffic tracking uh, software out there. Let me just take a sip of tea. Um, there's a free one called. Um, uh, 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 it's very popular in the industry called uh, Tracking 202, and I'll have a link for that uh, for you. Look at this here, professionally written. I'll have a link for th for you at the bottom of this uh, review. That's a popular one, and it's completely free. However, it's a little bit dated, um, like the software is a bit dated, um, but it is free. However, what I use and what I highly, highly recommend is a, a new one on the market. What's well, not? It's it's like a year or two old now, but Tracking 202 is like five or six years old now. <laughs> um, and the one I recommend is called CPV Lab. And even though it's it's called CPV Lab, it works with like all traffic, like pay per click and everything. So, but yeah, CPV Lab. It's it's. Um, I'm going to be doing a a very very detailed screencast review just on CPV Lab in, um, hopefully within like a month from now. Um, I've been wanting to do it for a long time now, but I've just been so busy. Um, but yeah, I definitely highly recommend this. I will have a link for you as well below this uh, uh, this video on my on my blog post absolutely highly recommend this um, it's not free like tracking 202 is it's like 300 bucks um, but it's worth every single penny I'll tell you that like if this cost if CPV lab costs like 1500 bucks it's still worth every single penny um, it's an upfront cost that you're gonna pay but uh, it's it pays for itself a million times over like I just can't say highly enough about it for affiliate marketing it's it's be it's beautiful <laughs> you it's yeah if you're if you're serious about affiliate marketing cough up the 300 bucks 
because it'll be likely the like one of the best investments you'll make. Um, how's that for a testimonial? <laughs> okay, so um, in addition to tracking software, there's other software and services. Um, so, for example, there's different spy tools for like Facebook and different different traffic networks, and there are ad generator tools, and there's a lot of different software and tools out there. I'm not going to get into them in this video because it'll just take too long. But that's those are different things that you can think about getting in the future, um, and they will really help you optimize and grow your campaigns in the future. Um, in the beginning you don't really need to worry about them. The only one that I do recommend getting is you need to get tracking software. Um, even, if, even if you're just starting out you need tracking software. The other stuff is kind of stuff you can wait for once you're a little bit more experienced and, and have some cam campaigns going for a while. But yeah, so I really recommend tracking software. Um, let's just see here. Yeah, so, and uh, um, with tracking software, the, the whole idea about it, I mentioned earlier that, yeah, the idea is that you want to see what is working and what isn't, and then um, stop the traffic that isn't working. And that's what tracking software does. And you can really track exactly what is and isn't. So with your Facebook ads, for example, we were doing that skin tag offer, right? We're targeting women, I think we were targeting women 30 to 50, right? So let's just say we broke down the ads by different age groups. So let's say we targeted women by um, from age, uh, age 30 to uh, 35, and then 35 to 40, and 40 to 50, let's say, right? Let's say we had different ads targeting these different groups, age groups on Facebook and we, we put that into our tracking software such as CB, uh, CPV Lab and we let's say within CPV Lab we find out that um, this this age group isn't really working you know it's it's uh, we're losing money on it and um, even this age group isn't working but we find out that this age group is working well then we can focus on this age group and we can cancel these these uh, age groups on our ads and then we might want to break out this age group we want uh, sorry I can't talk we, we might want to uh, break this age group into smaller demographics of um, maybe maybe 41 42 we might want to go create ads all the way up to from 40 to 50 targeting each specific actual age and then we might find out that the 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 ages 43 to 47 are the most profitable and then we can just focus on this age group and then cancel everything else and then profit so that's the idea of of tracking and and split testing this is kind of uh, an an example of split testing and that's kind of how you optimize an offer that's how you optimize an offer and kind of go from the red to the black. Um, so, and then what do you go from here? Um, basically, you just want to keep testing everything. Uh, you just have to keep making more ads on Facebook. Just keep making more and more ads, or wh wherever it is you're you're buying traffic from. You just want to keep split testing, seeing, and just uh, and um, once you once you get going another um you just want to keep learning as well so you want to read a lot a, of, of affiliate marketing blogs and um like there's a lot of good ones out there and and don't just read the latest post right if you're brand new go back a few years like read or read somebody's blog from the very beginning like for example my like my blog i i mean alone on my blog i've got almost a thousand blog posts like a lot of them aren't related to affiliate marketing most of them aren't but uh, a lot of them are and there's a lot of knowledge out there so you can read a lot of, of of affiliate marketers blogs and just you know go through their archives in in um in chronological order and then you got a lot of good information there in addition to uh, blogs and forums 
um, free forms, you might want to consider paid forms. Um, there's a few of them out there. There's, a, there's kind of three main paid forms for affiliate marketing that I know of. Um, and one that, that I'm a member of and that I like is called IM Grind. It stands for Inter uh, Internet Marketing Grind. Uh, again, I'll have a, a link to you uh, for you below this video with my referral link. <laughs> um, so paid forums usually cost, for, for affiliate marketing, usually cost about 100 bucks per month. Um, but they are very good, um, and they're they're worth their inve their investment. And what they're really good for too is you can create a they're called follow along campaigns, and basically you you create a thread in the forum, and you kind of just you kind of just uh, tell people um, how your campaign is going and and what you're doing. Um, so for example, for the skin tag offer. Um, you would just be posting, you know, once a day or, or or so, and just giving an update on how your campaign is going. And you would be like, okay, I I created uh, these ads, and I'm targeting this age group, and things aren't going well. What should I do? And then what will happen is the community will come in, and they will respond, and, and basically um, tell you what you're doing wrong and what you should be trying. For example, they they might take a look at your ads and say, oh, you shouldn't you shouldn't put the price in the ad because people won't click on it um, and that will lower your click-through rate blah 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 blah. basically they are kind of helping you you know and mentoring you directly on your campaigns yes there is a bit of a downside in that you are revealing a lot of information and other people you might fear other people are copying your stuff but especially when you're beginning this the amount of information you will learn from that is invaluable. Basically, you'll be saving yourself uh, um, a lot of time and, and money on trying to learn a lot of the basics yourself. And then once you kind of, um, once you learn, then you can just stop posting your follow along campaigns. But that's just an example. You don't have to do follow along campaigns. There's just a lot of information in these forums that you can just read, um, a lot of really good information. Um, so yeah, I, I recommend uh, a paid training affiliate marketing forum as well. And yeah, so that's the general gist of affiliate marketing. Um, this video is nearing 30 minutes, so I'm going to try to just uh, wrap it up at 30 minutes. <coughs> um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it's it's. Um, I hope I I think I covered pretty much everything. Uh, I can't go into detail on every particular aspect because yeah that would just take far too long but there's definitely a lot of money in it uh, and it may take a while to get you know to, to find profitable camp campaigns um, again I've I've been doing this for I've been trying affiliate marketing off and on for like like four years now and for the longest time I've only ever pretty more or less broke even uh, made a you know a bit of money here and there but never really made any real money until just this past year when I've been doing quite well um, I think in the past in the past 12 months I've done close to half a million dollars in in commission so um, that's that's gross revenue of course not net and um, it's it's currently January 31st as I write this uh, and uh, there's two hours left in the day but for this month I think I will net I should net about twenty-three thousand dollars or so. So uh, things for me have been really pin, uh, been picking up lately, and I'm really hoping to have a really good next month. I think if I work hard enough, I can really, really improve that. So there's a lot of money, I, and 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 by the way, I'm what what I'm making right now is is absolute peanuts to what other people are making. Like there's people doing six figures a day. Unbelievable, right? Six figures a day. There's people out there doing that, and and a fair bit of them too. Like, so it's not like I'm anything special. I'm actually not making very much compared to a lot of people out there. So, yeah, if you keep at it and and really work hard, uh, affiliate marketing is a really good source of of revenue. Um, okay, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps uh, helps some of you. Okay.